So we're just about to go and talk to two local ladies who have started a new business, or started a little while ago, and that business is called Good Change. Now this is an industry that most of us probably wouldn't have thought about a lot, and it's got to do with cloths. And not just any cloths, these cloths are amazing. First of all, they're eco, and they don't stink. They are so good. <laughs> anyway, let's go meet the ladies. So we're standing here with Stina and Christy. Thank you for talking to us today, ladies. You're welcome. Yeah. Very good. Owners of Good Change. Um, absolute fantastic business here you've got, guys. Thank you. First question of mine is, how long has it been going? And cloths, how did you get into that? Well, the cloths are exciting. <laughs> <laughs> um, we got into, the business has been live since uh, almost a year now. On the website? August, August last year. Yep. Cool. Uh, or um, we launched about a year ago. Yep. We, I think we came across the idea, you, you were starting a business, Christy and I chimed in with this idea that, that I had that, yeah. that, that matched what you were doing. Stina comes from Denmark, so these yeah. cloths have originated in Sweden. Yes. Uh, back in 1949, I think. Yeah. yeah. So that's all you, you'd ever know, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah pretty much. Um, so we pretty much in, took this cloth and we looked at some, uh, having some tests done, so we had some, uh, looked at some lab tests in Switzerland yes. that actually showed that these, they're 100% natural, they're made from wood pulp and cotton. Wow. So um, the unique thing is that they fully compost in your garden, so not a professional compost or yeah. a, but actually in your own garden or a piece of dirt. Yeah, and because of their composition, because of the wood pulp and cotton, they don't actually smell. Um, no. So they don't harvest <coughs> bacteria. They, they so that's one of my favorite features. Um, Obviously, bacteria likes to live in wet places and because they dry super fast, yeah. um, you don't get that. So, we've got some other products over here, which is your standard sort of cleaning cloths and things yes. like that. Yeah. So, compared to those. Well, so we thought we'd um, just show uh, some, one of the reasons why we wanted to do this cloth was that there is a whole, obviously, a wave of people being conscious about consuming the right way, putting their dollar in the right place. And you look at this, you can just hear that this is plastic. This is, this is plastic, yeah. it's a kind of plastic. You know, there are different kinds of plastic. This is the super bad plastic. Even even the packaging itself, mm. it's going to be here for 100, 200 years. And so yours is not plastic at all, is no, it? No, so ours, our, our packaging is uh, recycled paper. Nice. So, um, I mean, in winter time, you use it for kindling, or obviously, it just breaks down. So, I think one time you were telling me, Stina, even paper towels have plastic in them and things like that. Yeah, well, paper towels, well, first of all, most paper towels are wrapped in plastic. Same with these. Um, so, and they're also what we what we call single-use yes. paper towels. So there's a lot about single-use, be, being a bit more concerned about reusing instead of just having single-use items. So these last for a long time. So these last for six to nine months. We also oh. have these guys here, which uh, which are the wipes. So that's probably your replacement for the single-use paper yes. towels. Yeah, right. or a replacement for your, your synthetic yeah. rolls. Yeah. 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 So even the rolls themselves, once you get rid of the plastic, so one, one thing is the packaging, but then you actually got all the synthetics in the cloth that releases microplastics into the waterways. You know, you can, yep. got all these fishermen gutting the fish and out comes oh. all these. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then, we, you know, that's the fish. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the fish that we feed our kids. And, yes, and yes. So it's all about just thinking a little bit more um, about other alternatives that don't Absolutely. leave. Those little yeah, footprints yeah, yeah, actually yeah, make yeah, a bit of a great idea. These are so good. Seriously, I use them all the time and now. You, you, and you can wash them up 75 yeah. times. And we're going to do a bit of a giveaway too, so remember, um, follow the details below guys. And we're giving away, what was it, four packs? We're giving four yep. packs. And four packs, so that's one pack. This we're is one pack. Four of those, so so a, a full kit to get yep. you started. Perfect. 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 Yep. And this one has three three different cloths in it. I started with that, but now I'm thinking I just might have to even upgrade to, yeah, to the big this guy. Is, <laughs> this is a new launch, and it's actually um, an alternative to, to like a chamois that you can wash your car with. Yeah, of course. You can use it on outdoor gear and stuff, but it's just for it's people with bigger like hands, like me. Right. <laughs> yeah, because we'll do all the cleaning, obviously. <laughs> so follow I'll the details below. Absolutely. <laughs> follow the details, put your name down there, and we will announce a winner in the next week or two. So, ladies, thank you very much for our meeting with us today. I know short and sweet, but um, yeah, absolutely you. fantastic product. And you are saving the world one cloth at a time, eh? We are. Exactly. Take this one. Absolutely. <laughs> 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 that one.